What is going on, guys? And welcome back to a brand new episode of the Stoke City Career Mode. And this is an unbelievable one as well. Semi-final of the Champions League against Manchester City. Now, this Manchester City side that we're playing are not going to be the same Manchester City side we play in the Premiership. Oh, no. It's going to be more accuracy on passes, better movement from the players, and just good dribbling all around and good ball control. They're going to be a complete different side, so we've got to deal with them. They're going to be the same players, but a complete different side. It's going to be a lot tougher to try and deal with this one. So let's get into it. Try and get our first win. Let's have a look at the team there. Rodri, Pedri, Turam in the centre. That's nice there. There's Foden, Palmer, and Audrey Bala there. Gomez, Diaz, Howard Bally's former Stoke Loney as well are in there as well. It's going to be a tough one, but can we break them down and get a head in the first leg of the Champions League? Come on, please. Let's do it. Let's this one is a proper lock-in and play one. Hopefully, we can get a good result here. I just want a couple... I wouldn't mind a couple of goals, which I don't think anyone would. As we get the ball straight away, start off with us. Oh, who gets that ball? Finds himself, opens it up. Oh, what a start that is. Get in. Come on. That is what I needed. That is absolutely huge for us right now. Come on. That's an absolute brilliant start for us. And while it could be equal back here, straight from the kickoff, really, as Uzzibal's on the ball, does really well to dribble past, tries to flip the ball in. Van Dijk's there. I, I don't know why he's just gone for the shot there. Paul, but stupidly try and get that shot, but we're going to take that all the way. That was a little bit of a scare, but we know we can play a little bit better here. Stop that from happening again as we see a nice run from Livermento. Moves the ball really well as Sancho gets it. Good one-twos all around. Try and find a ball into Onu. Tries to get the ball off. But there is Harwell Ballis to mop that up. Great vision from him. And anticipation expecting that pass to come through. Picks that ball up. Finds Sancho. Plays the ball through. Good ball movement. As we play this ball through. One more lock. Strikes it. It's a good block again from Harwell Ballis. Sancho gets in the right position to win that ball though. Fernandez is on it. Moves it well nicely. Sancho... Yet again, Arnoud on the ball, looking for the right pass. I just want the ball to be played in perfectly. As Arnoud takes a touch, it's a bit of a heavy one there, really. Shouldn't have, shouldn't have dribbled into the box. It was poor from me and allows Manchester City to counter-attack here. Where is my defence? As Phil Foden pushes up, he's going to go all the way. Just jockey him, don't let him do anything else. As we do really well and get the ball away. Costa with a great clearance. Still pressure on from Manchester City to move this ball into the box. Two rams there, ball across, and there's the goal back from Pedri. Well played from Man City. Counter attacks. I don't know where my defence went. I really don't know where my defence went. Right, 1 1, and this is game back on. I thought that start was a little bit too good for us. So let's try and get a goal back here. The St. Maximum's making a good run. So that's going to be. Oh, I thought we we're going to get that through there. And I thought you overcommitted, but no. Man City just mopped that back up. And get away with it, he's looking to break as Osjebal pushes forward now, good ball movement, just sees it past our players, we feel a little bit clunky, I'm not going to lie, don't know what's going on, I know they're tired, that's definitely one thing that we've kind of got to dig in and trying to deal with this situation here, they just spin around and we can't get the ball off him, but there is Fernandez. it's going straight back to him, don't matter, it's going straight back to him, so the ball's getting played, Turam strikes it, it's a good save from Livakovic, ball played short, Phil Foden going to try and dribble his way through, I know what he likes to do, I, it's weird that as soon as the back is turned, I can't get the ball off him. The, the, the strength just goes to 99 when they turn the back as Turam is there, pushing in. Once again, turns his back to us, can't get through. It's going to be a blocked shot there. And Livakovic somehow gathers that up. A little bit of pressure then. I don't know what just happened. Onud picks that ball up. Good play. Finding his feet there. Good ball all the way across. Seeing the over running, overlapping Costa as he moves through. Just gets past the defender there. Easily done. Why is that not gone to St. Maximin? I do not know. So we move this ball, finds it through. Onu's going to strike it. And that has a poor one there. He's going to be cleared away from Man City. Our wing backs are gaining trouble here. They are getting forward way too much. And Man City are just counter attacking. It's easily done. So they push forward now. Phil Foden on the ball. Their, their main threat is Phil Foden. Everyone's coming through Phil Foden. So if we could try and eliminate Phil Foden, we eliminate Manchester City's attack as we're going to push now. Looking for the ball through. Oh my days. How bad is that pass? Like, how bad is that? Fernandez gets that ball, pushing forward now, looking for the runners. Going to see an on-running Livermento, though, down this right-hand side. It's nice. He's going to cut in, show a bit of speed. Lovely play. So we play it through. Onud's there. Come on! 2-1. Massive goal just before half-time as well. Please see this out for a 2-1. That is absolutely massive. Come on. Great play. Great overlapping for Livermento. I was saying that we're kind of getting caught back on that one, but that is a great goal for us. Come on. Onud picks that ball up in the centre. Dying seconds of the first half. Luke 
looking for another overlapping run here. The Sancho finds himself on the ball. I see St. Maximum back stick. He's on his own. Say, oh, he couldn't get it though. It's a good header away. Can we get the seconds? So Gibbs White points in, but the referee blows the whistle for the end of the first half. It is currently 2 1. And this is a huge result so far for us. Can we maintain this? I'll keep the lead. Come on. Just got to be careful. Like I say, with them on running wing backs, I might have a change to the old 4 1 4 that we played previously. That has done really well for us as we move this ball pretty well. As on who gets these, but there is Rodri just mopping up for Manchester City. Good ball movement from Man City's Phil Foden. Like I say, Phil Foden is the main attack, but we do get the ball off him this time. Hopefully, we can now counter attack. Zanud, I'm waiting for you to make the run, mate, as we find the ball through. That's a great ball. Zanud's going to push now. He's on his own. He's going to have to go across the goalkeeper. He scored from this angle before, and that is an unbelievable save from Edison. Fair play from him. <sighs> that should have been a goal, but I can't fault it. It's a great save as we're going to get this ball. Hopefully, Sancho gets it. It's a heavy touch, unfortunately, but we still get away with this one. And Sancho is still on the ball, using his dribbling feet there. Can't get through as Rodri just mops up. Bad pass, though. Leads us potentially to another attack. As on who gets it. No, he doesn't. He gets, gets the foot in front of it. Can't get it away. It's going to get moved out now. Phil Foden on the ball. Plays it down to Sergio Gomez. Good play. They try and stop the attack as the on-running Sergio Gomez pushes forward. I didn't know he was that fast as well. I was unaware of the speed of Gomez. It's Phil Foden pushes through now. Good ball movement. A bit of space as he strikes it. And it's another save from Liverpool, Keeping us alive. Keeping us leading in this one. Huge, huge save. It looks like a short corner for Manchester City. Phil Foden using his dribbling ability there. Like I say, he can't get the ball off him when he's just dribbling like that. I don't give fouls away neither in silly positions. There's a floated ball over the top. Fans to ram. Can't get the ball off him for some reason. As ball comes through. Leverkovic with a great save. Cleared away. Don't know how we just got to that player there, but we're going to take a little bit of luck of the draw. As we can look for an Arnu making the run over. Can he put a bit of pressure on? As Arnu Bally says there. Gets away with it though. Arnu Bally has been instrumental. He was not that good for us when we played him. Audrey Bell plays the ball forward. Good ball. Good interception as well as Diego Carlos finds a little bit of space there. So we move this ball, passing round. Onud is free there. We're going to push forward now with him. Can we get another run through as he's pushing through? Great, great agility from him. Referee, that has got to be a red card, right? It's a goal-scoring opportunity. Oh, my days. How has that not got given? I think I play it short. I generally think I play it short and we just hit it and we strike it and it's a save from Edison. I can't do free kick, so I couldn't really go for anything too spontaneous there with the free kick. So I just had to go with what I felt comfortable with. So we're going to turn with Sancho in a little bit of space. Bends it round. Yes! The short corner pays off. Get in there, Sancho, as he gets us a goal. Come on! Yes! 3-1. Massive. Massive goal for us and a massive step for the second leg. Come on. That was a huge step in the right direction for us. And we have been, I don't know what to say. It's just, it's sweaty. And that's definitely one thing. It's sweaty as we try and hold off now. Need to maintain this. That's going to be worn at there by Costa. Great play from him. He needs help. He's going to try and do it himself here. Does really well. Costa's phenomenal. Absolutely instrumental in this side. We're going to move the ball. Looking for the right passes. As Costa's making a run forward as well. Finds the ball to Gibbs White. Gibbs White's trying to dribble it around. On running. Costa's going to use his agility. Tries to pass the ball back. But can't get it through. And that could be a bit of trouble. As our fullbacks have pushed forward now. And it's going to leave a few gaps. As Phil Foden pushes now. Plays the ball in. But Sanchez. Great. Great play from him, just keeping us in this game. As that's a bad clearance away from Liverpool. Not like him to do something like that, but we're going to play it a little bit smart, a little bit shorter. Just here playing acres of space there. Van Dyke with his famous switching pass there. Ball played over the top. He's going to find Isaac there. As he tries to play the ball in, but we keep that in alive somehow. I don't know how that's just happened. Ten minutes left, and we are going to... I'm going to pause it there, and I'm going to go to the fourth. 4 one, one, four, four, one, one is in full effect, and all we do is just bring these forward a little bit there to play left wing, and then them there to play right wing. Just do that. Then I can see that Gibbs White is a little bit tired, so I'm going to bring Barrow on for him, and then I'm going to bring a Langer on for Sancho, just for the speed. I just need the pace and the, the fresh legs as we move forward now with Livermento. Pushes it in. There's Sancho. Once again, that's a bad challenge, but we're going to get away with it. Zonud's there. Pushes through. Tries to dribble past. I, I should have passed, but I, I thought Zonud's ability to dribble would be free. And, oh no, this is not good. As Ozzyabal is going to go through one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. Strikes it across. Leverkovic, you hero. What a save. What a save. Short corner for, oh no. Deceive me as they got St. Max. St. Maximin has been brilliant with them short corners, dealing with them from post. And that was nice to bring St. Maximin out and play the ball through. Is 
Good ball movement. Strikes it in Liverpool with another great save. Caused St. Maxman to leave off the front post. And that's great play from him. Once again, they're going to good shot. So this time, we're going to take Sanchez there. And he's just absolutely done him on his sixpence. So the ball gets moved around. Horrible oh, Ballis in there. Gets a goal through. I don't know how that's just happened. Ball through. And there is a goal for Herrera. How that's just got through them plays is beyond me. But it's 3-2. And that is not what we wanted. That is all. I can't believe all them players. The ball's just got through all them players like that. Look at that. Well, it's reported like the Red Sea. Moses, I think his name is. Not Herrera. As that is a bit of a tough break for us there, but it is what it is. We still take this lead into the second leg as we move this ball through. That is a disgusting challenge yet again. It's got to be his second, Yali. That's a red card if you've ever seen one. Trying to slow the play down as well. Not happy with that. Not happy with that. There we go. The final whistle It's 3-2. The first leg is done and dusted. <sighs> that was a tough one. It was a little bit too sweaty for my liking. I'm not going to lie. But we do take an advantage into the second leg. And hopefully that will be enough to see us through. So we are going to play Brentford. It's going to be a quick sim one. This one is as well. As we are currently eight points clear with four games left. So this could take us 11 points clear at the top of the table. And then the next game will be one that can win. But we have a lot of changes that need to be made because we've got some tired players. And I can't afford to play these players when we've got the main important game next. And that's the Champions League second leg. So we are going to take a lot of these players off. Rest them all. I generally don't mind if we lose this one. We just try and win it in this, the later stages of the Premiership. As you can see, we have rested every single player on this team. So we're going to quick send this one. If we get a win, happy days. But that's 11 changes. It's a 3-1. It was going to happen all day. I, I fully take hold my hands up on that one. That was my fault. I changed 11 players right there. Just so we had them ready for this Champions League game. Hopefully the squad is rested and we're going to take on this Manchester City side at the Etihad as well. Sterling makes it into the team. Isaac's in there. Ozil, Bal, Pedri, Turam and Rodri yet again. That's going to be a tough one to deal with. But we can do this 3-2 on aggregate. A goal early stages will probably set the mood for this game. Hopefully it guns in our favour. So let's get into this one and get into the Etihad. Let's get into this one then. The second leg. We are one foot in the Champions League final, but that is going to be a tough one to try and comprehend as there's a lot of pressure on our boys to try and get this through. They've never been in this situation before. They've never been in a final before because I'm not counting the playoff final as a final. That, that, that's just the playoff final and the uh, championship. As Costa's there, runs through, finds Onu, plays it through, balls of crown, gets it in, and that's the start we needed yet again. Sancho finding room. What a start. That was great passing ability as well. We just ping, 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 ping the ball about and just rifle the ball in. Come on, what a start. Yes. Now, I said we wanted an early goal, and I'm so glad that it come in our favour as well, as I don't think Sterling is the player for this team, you know. And what I mean by that is I think they should have kept Phil Foden because he's been absolutely brilliant. So we move this ball forward. Great play. As Sancho gets his heavy touch there. It's going to cause a little bit of room now where we've got to just sit back and try and defend. So we don't want to push our players forward a little bit too much as we ooh, a lunge in there a bit crazily. As Levermento gets that ball, we're going to easily win that against Sterling, right? Yeah, pick that ball up with St. Maximin, finding a little bit of space there. We we'll play the ball through, good touch, takes it out of your seat. Fernandez strikes, and Fernandez gives us the second goal. Come on, that gives us three goal breathing space right now. That is huge for us, and it's just a massive, like, oh, sigh of relief as the sweaty, pressured player keeps playing. But now we can just breathe a little bit. Great touch from Fernandez as well. I don't think we give Fernandez enough credit. He's like that player that's just in the middle. That no one really talks about, but when you take him out of the team, you know he's missing. He's that type of guy. He's brilliant for us. Sanchez moves this ball down in the center. Going to play to St. Maximin. Acres of space. I've got a few players floating around as well as Anu looks for the ball. Tries to play it through. We still have possession though. Good play out to Livermento who's pushed all the way up. Got to be careful with this because now on the counter-attack with the likes of Sterling out there with the speed, our fullbacks are going to be in a bit of a tricky situation to try and deal with this. Now, and as you can see, Diego Carlos has to come across, and that's the centre off, pulled out of position. And once they do that, that's when gaps get created in this side. Got a little flick over there 
finding a great run from the left back as they put it into the box. Can we win the header? Van Dijk, always going to win that one as Onu gets that flick on as well. Going to play it to St. Maximum. Going to move this ball now. Gibbs White straight through. Going to find a little bit of spaces. Going to try to play the ball through to St. Maximum. Tries to battle away, but Jan does a great job of that and goes back to Edison to mop it up nicely for them. Good ball movement from Man City as they push here. Turan plays the ball into Uzzi Bell. Got to be careful with him. That's a great tackle as well. Gibbs White, oh, I don't know how he's just bent his leg around me there, but he just, he just did. Gibbs White, pouring a performance in there. Great play, great show of hunger and fight and will for this team as we move this ball. This could be 3 0 as Gibbs White should be rewarded with a goal of what he's just done. And that's the finish 3 0. Oh, big breather. And that should see us through. That's four goals. That's a lot to ask for for Man City. A lot to ask for. This is like a Manchester City in real life. As soon as they get to Champions League, they start to bottle it. When he gets to the heavy stages of it, let's pull in. Nearly a good header there. But it's cleared away as Sterling gets it. We're going to out-jump Sterling there. Can we get the seconds? Good battling away. Can't get it through, though. That's going to be played out by Manchester City. Ball getting moved around nicely. As the ball gets played through. Oje Bell finds a good gap. Livakovic gets it. Oh, my. Why is Why, why did he, like, try and clear it, not just rifle it in the back of the net? <laughs> Was he not meant to do an overhead volley or something there? I think, I don't know what's just happened, but it's it's a call for Man City. Van Dijk just, just boots it in the net, just thinks stuff it, you know what, let's go for it. It's now a 3-1, and that's a three-goal lead that we have only now. So we're just going to be a little bit smarter, like I say, without passing possession of the ball, as we're just going to, what, what, excuse me? Oh, what a save from Edison. I don't know what happened then. I know it's the 45th minute and FIFA likes to get a little bit funky in the 45th minute, but that was just a little bit crazy. We ran through every single player that was possibly on that Manchester City side and it was just a little bit weird, but it's going to be played out. The referee is playing on. Nope, there's a half-time whistle. 3-1, a huge result so far. And like I say, one step in the final. Can we see this out? Can we carry it on? And hopefully we can get a win. And let you add. Second half underway. St. Maximum going on his run again. Trying to dance past a few players. Going to get through. Using his dribbling speed. Using his speed. Cuts it back. Tries to anyway. Oh, and Edison just gets it. I tell you what, St. Maximum is up for this. He's just running past players. It's crazy. Good play from Manchester City. Finding Sterling down this wing. Pedri is on that ball. Using his feet. Going to try to put a bit of pressure on. He can't knock him off. Cannot knock him off balance. He is doing really well there. As Ujib Al pushes now. Using his strength as well. Trying to keep the ball away from us. It's, it's nice players. They, they are maintaining possession and that's that little cut through there is always in trouble and there is another goal as Gerald puts the ball in the back of the net and it is now 6-4 accurate 3-2 to us and it's a tough one unfortunately the ball just falls back if they turn the back on us like I've said a million times if the ball the player turns the back on us we don't get the ball away and it's just an unlucky bounce from the first shot we just got to think smarter like I keep saying stop giving the ball away so aimlessly like that, and we might be able to get away with this. Trying to find the right gaps, try and find the right pass, because they've got two goals in quick succession. That's a good ball all the way across. I'm not going to be able to get that. As Luzio Bell plays it across, they're going to go for that cut across the goal again. That's the only way they score goals. So they try and whip this ball in. I need Sancho to try and put a foot in. He does, well, an Ed, sorry, should I say. And he does really well there. As we get this ball out, 30 minutes left of this game. Can we get something from it? So we're going to play this ball over the top. That's a great run. That is a great run from Fernandez. Trying to redeem himself as he strikes the ball. And Fernandez gets us that goal back the overlapping run from the centre of midfield and a great vision as well from Onu to find the ball over the top pinpoint perfect accuracy as well and uh, Fernandez just rifles a ball in the back of the net bit of strength there as well from behind you can't get the ball off us it's a great goal and a great finish and City picked this ball up in the centre it's nicely played so Jubal passing the ball around finding Sterling oh that's good feet from Sterling as well Pedri's now on it. Good ball movement all the way around. Try and get the ball off. That's a good interception there. As Sancho brings this ball out, we've got a bit of space to move. There's on who it is. Running, running. Sancho, why did you go down? Why did you dive? There was just no need in that. He won the ball fair. We could have carried on. We could have gone through one on one. But no. A little bit of a dive there as we're going to push. Okay, Sterling has magically found some strength as Livermento gets pushed off the ball as Pedri's there, using his feet, just dribbling around. Good ball into the box, but Van Dijk, great clearance away. Onu should win seconds as well, he does. So we play this ball down, finding Fernandez. I see St. Maxima making that run, but we're just going to play it backwards because that's what I wanted. Gerard on pushing in now, trying to get the ball off him. That's a great tackle. Referee's way play on as well. That's very rare that we get a chance like that as that's a big tackle. The referee blows it up. And City again, a little bit frustrated there. 
sponging the tackles in. Didn't need to, but we're going to take it as Sanchez picks that ball up, finds Gibbs White, finds a good ball to Sancho, but he can't get it back as Manchester City pile the pressure on. They need two, three goals, sorry. They need three goals quick as Livermento gets easily through on there. Maximum brings this ball out, plays it out wide to an on running overlapping Costa. Going to need a good ball through. Finds Onud. Onud's going to open his body up, strikes it. It's a great save there from Edison yet again. That's a bad pass. Going to bring it through, strikes it through. Can we get the ball? No, good save from Edison. We piled a little bit of pressure back onto Man City then. They crumbled a little bit. Hopefully we can try and maintain this as we put the ball into the box. Can we get an edit? No, we can't. Putting the pressure on, try and get a goal back. But we are really putting the, putting the ante up here as we just close the ball down. Pedri is there though. As I say that, and Pedri just hits the Denver. Great run from him. Puts it through. It should be... Dame sealed now, as it is the 87th minute. We're going to play this ball up to St. Maximin. That's a heavy touch, that is. Why is it? Oh, good play from St. Maximin, though. Can't get the seconds as the uh, defenders help each other out. After double teaming, that is going to be run down now. As the play gets played to Udria Bal down this right-hand side. Cuts it back. Good, nice little uh, back heel there. But it's still a three goals needed, and it's in the added time. As good play gets moved around, can they get a consolation goal? But nope. Costa says, absolutely not. You scored too many goals, Pastors. That is enough for us as we move it through. Sancho, find a little bit of space. Time ticking away. Can open a body up, but no. Referee blows the whistle. Final of the Champions League is achieved. It's going to be a huge one for us. Can we pull it off and win the Premiership as well? Only time will tell. Right, guys, that is going to be the end of the episode. I do apologize for playing like the Manchester City game twice. I felt like it had to be done. It was one of them games where it, it's too important to quick sim. It's a semi final. I'll try, I won't quick sim a semi final. They're too important to get into the final. So we, we play them through. We are going to play our next episode. We are going to win the Premiership. Pretty much, as you can see there, we are four points clear with two games in hand, pretty much on everyone. So if we win against Leicester, that will put us seven points clear. And Manchester City only have two two games left so they can only get six points so Leicester will be played and we could potentially win the premiership against Leicester and that will be absolutely glorious if we can beat them because they have been our arch nemesis since god knows when and then we also have the Champions League final against Barcelona that's going to be a fun one to play as well so guys if you have liked this episode please leave a like hit the subscribe out massively leave comments down below as well they help me out a world of good as well so please hit the uh, hit the like subscribe and leave a comment thank you very much for joining me and clicking on this video it means absolute world to me you spending a little part of your date with me and i'll catch you all next time much love and bye bye